Hi guys, so it has been about a week since I've poured and I wanted to um, show you the results of the triple black, white, silver and gold series, but I wanted to have them hanging on the wall and I haven't gotten to doing that between school and work um, and children needing to be taxied around for various reasons. So um, in my next video, Monday morning, I'll show you the dried results of those and the like marble piece. Um, and I'm trying to think of any others there might be floating around that um, I've recently done and you haven't seen it yet. So, uh, so we'll work on that over the weekend and hopefully get it up and on the wall so I can show you them. They're absolutely beautiful and um, they're probably some of my favorite pieces that I've ever made. And I'm thinking maybe going back to that, but I need a little more, I think, color added to the series. Um, so maybe I'll integrate some other kind of colors to go with it. Anywho, here we are, 20 by 20 inch canvas. I taped off my back, I sprayed them. I like a nice clean back on the and, um, back side of my canvas. And uh, I've got leftover paints. I've got Violet Dark by Goldens. I've got their um, Prussian Blue. I've got a black. I've got DecoArt Extreme Sheen Gold and rose gold as well as a white. And I think there's a color mixed in there because it doesn't look like a regular white. I've got aqua flash, blue flash, and pink flash as well. These are all leftover colors that I'm working with tonight. And um, we'll see what we can create. I really don't have an idea or a plan, um, but you know, we'll start off first by Putting a little bit of white at the bottom of the cup and I'm going to come in with the gold and maybe the violet dark there we go my cat, no kitty, no, no, no. My cat was gonna jump up on what's holding the camera. <laughs> that would have been a disaster. Um, so I had to divert her. Ooh, you sassy little girl, get back. If she gets up here, the camera goes down. <laughs> so we don't want that to happen some things there so it'll hopefully deter her. I'm putting in the blue flash now. And the gold. <gasps> Mimi, cut the crumbs. All right, I gotta fix something. So guys, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. You're jiggling here, I'm so sorry. Um, okay, so, oh gosh, I don't know what I put in there last. So we'll just go right in with the aqua. I had to kick her out of the kitchen. I mean, I didn't really kick her, so I love her to death, but uh, she had to go. <laughs> she was really getting into mischief, as cats do. Now she's getting into no good in the other room. She's frisky tonight. So I'm not sure what the aqua flash will bring to the table in this piece, but we'll see if it comes up with anything. She's in there like eating a bag or getting into a bag. So let's do, let's do a little black right here next to that pretty pink.
save those cups. And some more gold. Actually, I'm going to do this color next, which is the blue flash. And we're going to come in actually. So I've got a bunch of colors in there. Not sure how it's going to turn out, but it'll be fun to see. I'm just going to put them over here to the edge. Maybe do a little white on top of the cup. All right. We'll see if I need the Prussian blue as my flower extender. I'm not quite sure yet. But, so, here we go. And I did not do my puddle in the middle. I love the center area. And we're just gonna put this to the side. And I think we're gonna come in with the Prussian blue around the edges. Just stretching it out a little bit and see what we got going on here. A little white. Let me get out the torch and it's in the other room, so bear with me. Okay, I'm back. I was doing a little bit of resin work last night, testing out the waters with resining pieces once they were dry. Let's see how they turned out. really crazy. I love this area. Not sure if I like this area. But what I am going to do is get this corner off 
because I love what's going on in here and these areas here sort of more than what I like in other spots so I think I'm going to come down over here instead. And head back to the middle and I'm going to stop. I'm really not sure if I'm liking this. Oh. love what's going on in here. So I'm going to pull this this way. can't see what's going on here oh man I love this piece actually wasn't sure if I was gonna like that middle much but I love everything that's going on over here so that is for certain I just want to stop because if I don't stop, uh, maybe take this off. Yes, and I'll do that. I just took my gloves off, so I'm gonna go gloveless for a sec. I just feel like that big long line of gold interrupting the composition maybe that was a mistake some other paint because I'm not crazy about it. sure if I'm going to use it, but I've got more of the violet mixed here. Take the things off. I've got this beautiful Prussian blue and deep turquoise. And I think I've got the gold. I want to try and keep this like from here over. So what I'm going to have to do is pour closest, probably right about here. Yeah, that's what I gotta do. Let's see here. 
Yeah, that'll do. Um, need another cup. Where are they? Oh, there they are. I just realized I have no more white mixed up. So I think what I'm going to do here, I'm just gonna come and take it right out of here because I'm not even gonna mix it with anything. I'm just gonna do it. And this is the um, satin enamel. I'm just gonna put it right. I took a scoop out of there. I don't know if you guys could see, but I took a scoop out of the cup I just put it in here. So hopefully you guys can see what's going on. So that's what I'm doing with that. I feel like I haven't painted in ages. And it clearly shows. Okay. in here. I know you can't see it, but I can't exactly layer the cup on top of the canvas, so. Put a little more white in here. And maybe use up the rest of, I have a little bit of rose gold in there, so I'm gonna throw that on top. And I'm gonna put a little bit of the blue flash in there also. Can't find this stuff anywhere. Awful. A little more of the blue. Probably don't need this much paint at all, but why not? I'm all done. I actually don't really like that all on the top, but that's okay. Okay, I had to get that off there fast. And let's see here. Yes.
I have a little bit of this left from the original pour cup. And I think I'm gonna come in and do something right here. I'm gonna do it with my right hand today. Oh, my kitty, what are you doing? Now she's getting up on the counter, or eyeballing it at least. I'm just gonna bring this through here because that is whatever's left in the cup. Now, just in case you guys haven't noticed, I am trying very hard to save this piece. I'm not sure if I can do it. Yeah, I might as well just let it rest at this point because I don't know what else I can possibly do to it. To bring it back from the depths of Lord knows what. But it is beautiful. And uh, we're going to bring you guys in in just a minute. As soon as I can get the paint off my hands, that's why I wear gloves. So we'll bring you in in a minute. Okay, so I played around with it a little more and I added some of these lines in here. But man, I love this area. It is let's say my favorite corner. Um, the cells are just amazing. I wish, oh yeah, there we go. Eek. With the bright aqua in there. So I wish the original piece was just like that and um, it was not, but I didn't like all of the gold that was going on and it really needed to be broken up. So this is almost like two different paintings. Um, but I really, really love it. I'm really loving all of the colors and the bands, the iridescence, the, um, the flash, like the blue flash here, which looks purple but when it's dry and you look at it at different angles it will be a different color as you can see it changed so I'm really loving how it's turning out and I tried to stretch this area down more but I could not so I know what I did wrong I didn't um Lots of lessons learned with this piece. 
But when I did the second cup, I should have really focused it a lot closer to this area to be able to bring it out, but not ruin it. And the more you stretch these kind of cells, the more they will get wonky and you don't want that either. So you're sort of stuck between a rock and a hard place and it was either I scrape it, pour over it, or pour with it. So I decided to pour with it. Um, I apologize for the glare. Uh, this piece is just gorgeous. Um, it's got a lot going on. It's got two different designs, but at the same time, they sort of marry each other because they have the same colors in both pieces. And um, yeah, that's all. That's all I had to say. Thanks so much for coming on this very long, tedious and tiresome um, journey. But uh, I am loving that area. I might, you know, who knows if I don't like the whole piece, if nobody buys it, I may just cut this part right off. And, uh, once it's dry and, and frame it or something, because it's so, so pretty. I only wish you guys could see what I see. It's hard to tell on the cameras, but all right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye.